What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today is a really special video. We're gonna do a guide on how to do the new Robo Rumble in Pachinko Park. I'm gonna tell you guys the best strategy and how to get max coins and also it's a 10k sub celebration and giveaway. Guys, I cannot thank you enough for all of your help and support throughout all these videos. Your comments and all of your support has really got me through a lot and I'm so excited to get to 10k. I've been really excited waiting for it and I got a giveaway for you all to help celebrate that but all right let's get into the video all right so first off let's go over the giveaway really quick and then I'll tell you guys about the strategy for Robo Rumble in Pachinko Park if you want to skip to that just skip like 30 seconds ahead so first off the giveaway it's going to be a giveaway on my YouTube account and on my Twitter I'll put a link in the description to my Twitter and first off I'm giving away three iTunes gift cards and a spike hat so I'm giving away two iTunes gift cards on my YouTube so if you want to enter into that giveaway just like comment and like and comment on this video and subscribe to my YouTube and I'll pick a two winners randomly uh, so each winner will get one iTunes gift card ten dollars and then on my Twitter I'm giving away another ten dollar iTunes gift card and I'm also giving away a really sweet spike hat so if you want to enter into that giveaway uh, go to the description or go to my Twitter I'll have a link in the description to my Twitter and retweet the tweet and follow my Twitter so guys, thank you so much for 10k subs. I can't thank you enough. I just want to try and give back to you. So giving away some gift cards and the spike hat. All right, so let's get into the strategy for Robo Rumble. All right, guys. So first off, they've made a couple changes to Robo Rumble. Three significant changes. The first one is that the max coins is now 32 instead of 40. The second one I'm sure you've noticed is, is after the third boss, those huge melee robots that used to be really slow... Now, do a bull charge every five seconds as soon as they get inside of you. As soon as they're inside of you, they do a bull charge and they do it again every five seconds, which is really game-changing. And the third thing they did is they increased the health of the robots after the third wave. So the ranged guys and the fast mouse robots now have an additional a little over 1,600 health. And the big, huge melee guys have a little bit under an extra 3,000 health, which is a ton. So that made Robo Rumble a lot harder. Not only the extra health, but also the melee robots charging in on you. That really changed what team comps are good. So the best team comp used to be Colt, Ricochet, and Barley, but that's no longer the case. It's now pretty different. We're seeing a lot of different team comps. You might have seen some other videos doing a three melee brawler comp, which works pretty well, and I would recommend that. I'm going to go over a different team comp today. One I think is a little bit better and a little easier to get a higher time in. And it revolves around two main characters. The first one, which you're probably not going to guess, although you probably guessed by watching the gameplay. But otherwise, it's Pam. The first one is Pam, a really integral part of this team comp. The second one is Bull. And the third one has changed a little bit. I've had success with both of these. And it's either going to be a Shelly or a Colt. And these changes are really to combat the... One, the health increases of the robots, and two, the big melee guys charging in on you. So you need bull basically because of those melee guys charging in. You need some more health. You need a lot more health, and that's where Pam comes in as well. Has high health and does a good amount of healing and is really, really important later on, and it helps the bull out a ton as well. So that's the thing. So what happens with this team comp is the bull is going to be by themselves on the right. Now, this is helped out by the Pam. The Pam is going to use the turret to help out the bull. So while the Pam and either the Shelly or the Colt are going to be by the, themselves on the left, and the bulls will be by themselves on the right, the bull will have that turret to help out for at least the first four minutes. That's where the turret's going to be. And you're going to want to place that turret on. There's a little three square area, and you're going to place that turret where the fourth square might be to make it an actual square. Um, you'll see it in the gameplay. It's fairly obvious. You're trying to place it there every single time for about the first four minutes. Um, the only exception is if Pam has charged up her turret and there's a boss, you can place it as soon as you face the boss uh, to help out versus the boss. And she'll probably get her turret back while facing the boss. She gets a ton of hits in. And Pam actually does a decent amount of damage um, when she's getting all her hits in. So she does decent damage and the healing is great. 
Um, and if she have her star power, she does good healing to help out whoever she's with on her side as well. So that's definitely pretty useful. I actually really like Pam in the new Robo Rumble. Um, I also really like Bull as well. Bull, you're going to see he's going to want to be on a certain square on the right. And the reason for this is you need those ranged robots to come up towards Bull. Otherwise, they're just going to stay far back and they're going to be shooting at him. And as a bull, you don't want to be approaching them, running towards them, letting them shoot you as you're running towards them. That's never a good situation. You're going to be taking too much damage. It's hard to dodge the shots that way. So you want to be in a situation where they can't see you, they can't shoot at you. So they're running up near and getting closer to bull, and then you pop out and you can shoot them some. Now... If Bull is in the healing turret early on, he can take a decent amount of damage as long as he's being healed up in that turret. So don't be too afraid of taking some damage early if you have that turret up. As you get to about 4 minutes, it's going to be pretty hard to do that. You're going to might need some help from one of your teammates to come over. Um, if you have a Colt, it's preferably the Colt because they can move a lot faster. Or it can be the Pam. Whichever is closer is probably better. And then one person stays on the other side and kills whatever robots is over there. You might need that help from one of your teammates because the robots can be spawning randomly. Of course, you can have all the robots on the bull side. And then he's definitely going to need help around four minutes. Basically, after the uh, second boss and you're getting to about three, four, five robots, you might need some help on that side. And some other tips for Robo Rumble. Well, when you're dealing with the boss, you want to play a little ring around the rosy. Whenever it's going up towards you as it starts, try and loop it around some of those squares. So you're taking some shots, and then you're having it follow you around those squares. And then also, another tip is once you get low health facing the boss, try and switch off and have some of your other teammates take the fire from the boss and while you heal up. But the most important thing when facing the boss is don't die. I know this obvious, it sounds obvious, it sounds simple, but try and make sure you're not taking that last damage. Go around and heal up. There might be some situations where it's hard to avoid. Early on, it's not a huge deal, but later on, it matters a lot if you want to get a good time. Um, at the third boss, it's really important to try not to die near the end. So try and have you switch off with some teammates who have more health than you. Let them take a little bit of damage. Obviously, you don't want to take the damage on purpose, but have them take the aggro of the boss while you heal up. Um, it's definitely important to do that. Some other tips if you're playing Shelly. Now, I know it's important as a shotgun. You want to get as close as you can to deal the damage, but make sure you're not taking too much damage in the process. There's a fine line in how close you want to be as the Shelly. You don't want to be really point blank with Shelly as you're probably going to end up taking too much damage. She doesn't have the same, near the same health as Bull. She does have a little bit of healing from Pam's super, or star power, sorry, from Pam's star power, if you have that. Um, but if you don't, since you're not going to have the turret for a lot of it, it's going to be hard to keep that high health. Now, some other tips. Once you get past four minutes, you're going to find it's really hard to place Pam's turret to help out just bull. You're going to need to place it um, to help out everyone as you sort of get overwhelmed and you need it closer to the safe or otherwise it just dies too soon and it's not as useful so where you place it is you look directly in front of the safe there's those like four walls four blue walls you want to place it in the middle of that and that's going to be a pretty good place it's going to help out almost everyone the range guys can't really shoot it very well so it's hard for them to shoot they have to get at a weird, really weird angle now, the melee guys are going to be able to hit it, so if your team is not fully up, it will die after a certain point. So, when you start to get to the point where some of your teammates are dying and you're starting to get overwhelmed, you can place that turret like right in front of the safe as a distraction. But the other thing you can do is, if you think you're able to survive the small distraction that's going on in front of you, place it like directly behind the safe, right behind the safe, um, and you'll be able to have that healing for a lot longer period. And that's going to be more useful as it's much better to have the healing than not have the healing. So try and do that. But if you're at a situation where you're about to be overwhelmed and you're about to lose the safe, just place it right in front. Get that quick distraction and you know what? It's going to die, but at least you stayed alive a little bit longer. Um, but that's going to be the main tips for Robo Rumble, guys. What do you think of the new Robo Rumble? What do you think of the changes? How do you feel about the bull charge? Personally... I think it's not bad. At first, I was kind of mad and upset that they did that. But as I played it some more, I can see how it's better. I like that there's more diversity in the team comps to Robo Rumble now. Um, I'm not sure they needed to increase the health of the robots. Maybe. I'm not, it's not a horrible thing, but I'm not sure it was really needed. I think it sort of... 
I don't know. It makes it really, really, really hard after the third boss. Um, but that's fine, too, because honestly, I think it's better for Supercell games. I don't like that they last so long. Like, six minutes, I'd much rather grind Robo Rumble and get max coins at whatever it is if it's a shorter time than a longer time. So, personally, that's not the end of the world. I think the bull charge shouldn't be every five seconds. I think it should be, like, every seven or eight or nine seconds, something like that. Every five seconds is just pretty annoying because... Um, oh, here's the other thing, too. I would say, if they're doing the bull charge, it seems like... I don't know, do they take less damage or it just... Something was happening where it seemed like they were taking less damage. Uh, maybe I just totally missed that, but that shouldn't be a thing. But anyways, guys, what do you think of the changes? And don't forget about the giveaway. Like and comment on this video and subscribe to my YouTube to be entered into the one of my YouTube where I'm giving away two iTunes gift cards. And then also I'm giving a giveaway on my Twitter where I'm giving away a spike hat and I'll ship it to whatever location you're in. And also an iTunes gift card. So, and I'll put the link in the comments and in the description. Guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support throughout all the videos I've done, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, I will catch you later.